welcome back to our channel and in today's video I want to give you a little tour of the house but not the mini sponsible house so I've done a few like a mini sponsible house tour in the past and we also did like a video series with livingloving.net that you can see in our channel here in, in our playlist that video already show you like a little tour of the mini sponsible house so I want to do something different today I want to talk about the overall building that we actually have here because not that many people know unless you've come here before that mini sponsible house is actually only one third from the total building that we have here so we have 260-ish square meter of land and on top of that land there is actually one with the mini sponsible house Second is my parents' living area that looks like a one-bedroom apartment. And the third is a two-bedroom sort of like apartment that we plan to turn that into a rental property. So it's not finished yet, the rental property part. We're still working on it, but I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks like, how we keep things separated in here, how things work around here, and the overall idea behind this whole concept of multi-generations and multi-purpose buildings. So let's start with the Minisponsible house. The width of the house is 4.5 meters. This house is a separate house from the other because uh, we use solar panel here, we have our own water system that is separate from the rest of the house. We also have our own garage. You can see it here that the mini responsible house used to be part of the old house but we just renovated. And right next to this house, you can see that little bit of window there. That is actually my parents' living area. And next to that is the rental property that I'm talking about. So if we move to the front facing area of this house on the other side, this is gonna be the entry for the rental properties. I used to live in this area and this is the garage. Although this space is actually and technically is one building, but inside they're totally separated from each other. So if you walk through the side door, you'll go to the responsible house, straight ahead and my parents' space. But if you go to the right hand side, you'll see this door and then if you open it this is the rental properties that I'm talking about so it's quite a spacious area living room and TV area and then this is the open space kitchens which is quite spacious and then if you go upstairs there will be two bedrooms on the second level and we also have one bathroom down here and that's it that was the rental properties we're still planning to do a lot of decorations and do some fix here and there before we advertise that for airbnb or some other stuff we'll see so from here this is actually my parents living area and they also have like an open kitchen setting and tv area setting and that's their bedroom so this is basically like a one bedroom apartment which is quite comfortable though and this is the responsible house that's it so that was the entire tour of the house hope you find that interesting i think for me one of the greatest um, decisions that we've ever made is actually to live close to my parents and you know Ali and I work full-time job, right? And sometimes me being a lawyer, I had to like spend long hours in the office if I had to close the transactions or do back-to-back -back meetings and everything. And both Ali and I sometimes travel a lot as well before COVID. And you know, there were time when you know Ali and I had to travel at the same time. So, you know, knowing that my kids are with my parents at home give both of us like a sense of security and confidence to you know knowing that my kids will be okay because my parents is here and my parents is not like fully taking care of my kids entirely i mean we do have like nannies and caretaker that helping me and i'll be taking care of our kids but 
my parents is just there to supervise them hang out with the kids as well so and i think it's a good thing for my parents as well because they're not lonely and um they they have like a, a lot of things that they can do they can hang out with the kids and everything but they still have their own freedom to do whatever they want to do you know um, going out with their friends whatever but yeah i think it's just win-win solution so far and we still have all the privacy that we need because all these three uh, sections of the house are completely separated there's no like, connecting doors whatsoever everything is quite separated from each other so we don't really have any privacy issue living in this type of arrangement so for the rental property stuff those are the idea that Ali and I have been thinking about for quite some time now because we knew that we want to have some sort of like passive income one day if you know we decided to quit our job and whatever and I think having a, a place where we can rent out one day is a good idea so um, you know especially because Ali probably going to move to a new capital and then we probably need to go with him so having these three separate sections can really maximize the whole idea of you one day going to rent out this space because we have to move out of town so I think that's the whole idea of having these sections and we're so happy with this whole arrangement having a multi-generations and multi-purpose building and yeah hope, hopefully this inspire you um, what do you think let us know in the comment below and if you have any other idea for the house or anything that you want to comment or share please do let us know thanks for watching guys bye oh, I won't come back